Right, good morning everybody. Right, I come down to feed the ducks today. We've got our ducks in now. So I just pulled up near the duck pond. Yeah, we'll wander down in a minute. Right, I just want to let you see my new car. Well, I say new, second hand. Yeah, unfortunately I've got rid of the Land Rover now. I've got myself a little Toyota RAV4. Yeah, nice little car, nice and comfortable. It's ideal for what I want. Yeah, a lot more reliable than a Land Rover anyway. <laughs> a lot cheaper to run as well. Land Rovers are right, but they're just a never ending money pit, aren't they? You know, you're always spending out on them all the time. So, bought this little thing off a friend of mine. Uh, what I've got to do, I've got to change these wheels because these are 70, 17 inch rims, low profiles, so they're no good for off roading. So, I picked up some second hand 16 inch wheels during the week. So, I'm going to get some off road tyres fitted on them the next day or two so yeah nice little car definitely do the job anyway so right okay so I wander down to the pond and uh, see how the ducks are getting on yeah we've had them there for a few weeks now so I can see them down there already around by the feeder all right let's have a wander down yeah we've had them yeah you know, I think about two three weeks now yeah, nice, nice ducks. Some, my colleague was telling me that some of them already started to fly already. So let's have a look. Oh yeah, there they go, look. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, well that's good. Because normally they're quite a way behind. Tom, we've had them, we've had them before. You know, well they, they're nowhere near this far advanced. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, looking well, all growing well. Beautiful. Yeah, we haven't put any pheasants down on our shoot this year. The trouble is, it's just so expensive. You know, it's a real economic hard times at the moment, isn't it? So we just couldn't afford to get any pheasants at the moment. No partridges either just cost too much money and also a lot of them a lot of the game birds come from France like especially the partridges and of course we had all the bird flu nothing could be transported from Europe to England so there's a real shortage of game birds and obviously the cost of living as well fuel food everything's just gone up so unfortunately this year we're not going to be putting any pheasants or partridges down but we've got still got a few wild ones left there so there's still a few about and also we've got several neighbouring shoots as well which you normally put a few pheasants down and after they shot a few times so i don't come over under our shoot anyway so obviously we get a few from them so but it's only like a little friend family sort of shoot on the farm so we're not you know we're not after hundreds of birds every time we come down here so it's just a few friends getting together and having a bit of a social and a, and a good time out in the country really right okay this is our automatic feeder set on a timer and we've got a big bag of um, wheat there. I don't know why <laughs> really we sort of like bothered put a bit of in the feeder. Something's ripped a hole in there, I don't know, a rat or a squirrel. You know, it looks like it might be a rat. There's a ruck of a rat run up through it and the rats have come over, chewed a hole in there. Of course now the ducks come over and they just feed out of there but obviously <laughs> there's a lot of them so they're not all going to get a proper feed out of that. So yeah what we do we put a couple of bucket falls down along the edge of the pond and also we've got a automatic feeder set up as well. Come on the, just after first light in the morning and again just before it gets dark in the evening. So they've got plenty of food here. So right, okay, let's fill the old um bucket up and uh we'll put a couple of bucket falls along the edge of the pond here. Right, okay, let's grab the bucket. Right, okay, let's get the first bucket down. Just wander up here a little bit, and I'll just sort of work my way back with the other bucket full. <clears throat> Hopefully you can still hear me on the mic for this range. Not really tested it this far out. <clears throat> I 
All right, let's grab another bucket full. So they got the automatic feeder as well, so they've got plenty of food here. All right, let's grab another bucket full. They have to come over to me when I'm here because they're a bit, a bit spooky. These ducks. Don't want them too tame because obviously we've got to get them to fly on shoot days. There we go. Yeah, all on the island there. Well, I'll give you a little walk round anyway, just to show the uh, layout of the of the pond. Because Lando, they wanted a little pond in here. So we designed it as well to make it easy to get the ducks off the pond. Because what I'll show you our other ponds we got. They were already established before we set up the chute really. Put ducks on anyway. And it's just trying to control them to get them all at one end, then to get them to fly up in the air could be really difficult. But here we sort of designed this pond. And it's only even in the winter when it's really wet, it's probably only two, three foot deep if that. I'll show you anyway, we'll walk around and I'll be able to explain it a bit better. Let's just get rid of this bucket. Sort of working the way over here, but we'll, do. we'll just have a little walk around anyway. Yeah, the actual, what we do, we've got, we got permission to shoot that farm. The landowner owns that part, owns the other part, the other side of the road, which we've got our big ponds on as well. All right, okay, let's have a little walk along. As you can see, it's quite narrow here, because what we do, out in the field, we have the guns lined up there, through the gate, out in this field. There's a stream runs along the back there, guns this side, guns that side, and some out on the far, um, the other farmland, which we've got permission to shoot on over there as well. And what happens is the beaters go to the far end of this wood, push all this through. You usually, usually get the odd pheasant in there as well. And what we're trying to do is push these ducks over here, through this gap and out there into the, where the guns are. And I'll show you the other bit. It's a similar sort of setup here, but around the corner. Yeah, nice lot of ducks this year. Some years you get some nice ones and some years they're not so good, but these are really, really nice ducks. It's like an old Drake over there, might have been one of the original. We had one or two left over from last season as well. Yeah, so, so you've got this narrow bit here. And it goes round that corner there as well. Obviously we've got an island here for them to get onto. Because obviously, you know, it's going to fly already, amazing. Yeah, so need an island for some sort of safety for them, because obviously there's foxes around here. So they get on the island, obviously the foxes can't get to them. Yeah, what we do, we push that piece of rough ground woodland through here. And push the ducks out through there. Normally they go through there and out through that gap. Yeah, so the best place to be is sort of out there really, because <laughs> it's like a ditch runs all the way along here. And what they normally do, follow the ditch line along, turn round, then come back round again. And obviously, you know, you can shoot them as they're coming back as well. So this is quite a good place to stand in here. Normally we have a couple of walking guns through here. There, and another one here. And they stand there, we'll off the beaters come through here. Yeah, you can get some good shooting in here as well. Yeah, good little pond. So a friend of mine's got like a little digger. We spent several days up here digging it all out. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so hopefully, we should have a good season. You usually do the ducks. You know, you say you've got a nice gap there, they just go whoop, out there. Yeah, good. Right, okay. What we'll do now, we'll wander back up to the uh, other part of the chute, where the bigger pond is, and I'll show you around up there. Right. Okay then. Right, okay guys. This is one of our game covers here. Yeah, we've got three game covers on this little shoot. But unfortunately, when it was sowed, pretty much straight after they sowed it, we had that hot spell, the drought. And obviously it's not come up as, as good.
good as what we were hoping it was going to. But there's a bit of cover there, a mixture of all sorts in there really. So hopefully, get a few birds in there. Normally does, there's sunflowers in there, sorghum, millet. So it's a good old mixture. It's like a wild bird game mix really. It's like similar to what we had before, but obviously we had that dry spell. It just hasn't grown as much as we'd like it to. Right, okay. Coming up to the, uh, the other ponds now. Let's have a look. See what's going on here today. Things we've had no rain as well, so all the ponds and the ditches and the little streams around there are really low. Lower than what they should be really, but as I say, even though the hot weather's gone, we still haven't had any rain to top all these ponds and everything back up again, unfortunately. Yeah, some nice fish in here, some nice roach in there. That's a nice roach out of here, some lovely carp in here. Some geese over there. There's some Egyptian geese here as well, I've had some yum. There's a good old mixture of game birds there. Right, so that, that's a big pond. Uh, it comes up through here. You can hear the old ducks, they know somebody's about, they're gonna get some grub. You can hear them. Oh, there they are, look. Waiting for their dinner, or breakfast. <laughs> Get they know, don't they? A vehicle means food. Yeah, wait for their grub. Yeah, looking well. Yeah. Oh, they know, don't they? Right, okay then. Let's uh, get these bags of wheat out and give them a good old feed because they look a bit hungry to me. <laughs> Lovely job. Right, okay guys, let's grab some the bags and we'll, uh, give them something to eat. Right, let's get the uh, bags of wheat out. Just a camera a little bit, so we'll be feeding them on that. Oh, well, they'll be over for that now, but that's right. So we'll be feeding them down there, really. Right, let's try again. <laughs> Got you in the right place, you know. There they go. Lovely. And that little pile I left there as well. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Right, I hope you can see that from there. I think I've got the angle about right. There we go. Right, let's grab the other bag. Greedy. Things we've got no automatic feeder on this one. Because uh, we've only got one. So they have a little bit more here. Right, let's get a bit more over here for one. There we go. That made them jump, didn't it? <laughs> They'll be back in a second. Right, let's get this bag in the back. Oh, I'll show you the other little pond over there. Put the bags away for the next time. Right, good. Yeah, pretty jumpy, so that's what we wanted on too tame, otherwise the things won't fly. Right, just grab it there, guys. Yeah, I spilt a little bit there, they're straight on there. It won't be long, they'll be back up here now. Right, give them a minute to come back. Yeah, so we've got, that's the main lake. Through here, it's quite big. There's two islands, there's one there, one bit further down. We're really trying to control all the ducks on that big pond. It's hard work. So what we try and do, what we're going to try and do is feed them. Just keep feeding them up here. Eventually we'll get them up on this pond. 
which is a lot smaller. So we can get them on here and push them around. It's like a little, an island just there. It goes round the corner. It's like a little canal goes up. And up there is a ditch. Eventually we'll be feeding them up in the ditch. So you just got to work your way round. Just keep going, you know, every week. That'll be there. Put the food there, then the food the other, the other side, and just keep working them up round. Eventually, come when we go to shoot, they'll all be up in the ditch up there. What do I walk you up there anyway? So you can look, see what I'm on about there. Yeah, there's one of our pens there in the wood. But obviously, we're not having any pheasants this year, so we can't use, we're not going to use it. Yeah, right, okay, so I'll walk up here. Yeah, it's not long now till the shooting season starts. Then have a cut. No, was it next week? I think. Yeah, next Saturday is the first of October, so officially that's the start of the shooting season. It's a bit early, really. A lot of people don't shoot until the end of, say, October, beginning of November. But obviously there will be other shoots. Just depends when you get your birds in, really. The earlier you get them, the sooner. You Sooner you can shoot them in this shooting season when it starts. All right, so I'll walk up here. I'll show you this ditch then. <clears throat> Ooh, a bit windy around here today. Northerly winds now, starting to get a bit more like autumn. The little leaves will be dropping the next month or so. Yeah, so eventually we're gonna end up, like we did last year, feeding them in this ditch up here. But as you can see, there's not a lot of water in there at the minute. It's pretty low. Yeah, because normally in the winter this is completely filled up with water. So eventually, what I did, it's like this little canal goes all the way around to the right there, ends up back in the pond. So eventually, we're just drawing them up here, drawing them up here. When we start feeding this, this will be flat where they get on their feeding. What we do then, push them out through here, out through that gap. And what they do, they normally curl round to the left, follow the edge of this field along, and try and curl up and then drop back into the pond. <clears throat> obviously we've got guns all around the pond and out in this field. So the best place to stand is about halfway, <coughs> way down the, by that big pond there really. Yeah, you soon get to know where all the good spots are. So yeah, basically that's it really. That's all the ducks fed. So it won't be long before we'll be out here shooting them. So obviously I'll have my camera with me and uh, get some videos on YouTube as well, which would be good. Right, okay guys, that's just a quick look at um, a little part of our shoot and what we do here. As I say, it's, we're just doing ducks this year really. We've got gang covers, what we're going to do in the next week or so. We start putting some feeders in the gang covers now, just so there is any wild birds here. You know, attract a few more and then keep the ones that are here already. And uh, should have a few pheasants and partridges mixed in with the bag. So, right. Okay, guys, right. I'll wrap this one up now. This evening, I'm going to go out and see if I can get a fallow deer. So hopefully, we'll get lucky and uh, get a buck. There's only bucks in season at the minute. And I uh, spoke to the farmer the other day. And he said, yeah, there's a few fallow deer getting up there. So we're going to go up there and uh, see if we can get a buck or two, maybe. Right, OK, guys, just a quick little video. Uh, oh, hang on a minute, I'll just show you the ducks one more time. They're all out feeding on the wheat again now, so I'll have a look. <laughs> They'll probably all run off by the time I get close enough to them. Yeah, they're going to fly away now. There they go. Right, OK, what we'll do, leave them in peace so they can have their breakfast. Right, OK, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.